Do you know what to do if your screen goes blank? What if you can't seem to close an application, or can't hear any sound from your speakers? Whenever you have a problem with your computer, don't panic. There are many basic troubleshooting techniques you can use to fix issues like this. In this video, I'll show you some simple things to try when troubleshooting, as well as how to solve common problems you may encounter. General Tips to Keep in Mind There are many different things that could cause a problem with your computer. No matter what's causing the issue, troubleshooting will always be a process of trial and error. In some cases, you may need to use several different approaches before you can find a solution. Other problems may be easy to fix. We recommend starting by using the following tips. Always check the cables. If you're having trouble with a specific piece of computer hardware, such as your monitor or keyboard, an easy first step is to check all related cables to make sure they're properly connected. Restart the computer. When all else fails, restarting the computer is a good thing to try. This can solve a lot of basic issues you may experience with your computer. Most of the time, problems can be fixed using simple troubleshooting techniques, like closing and reopening the program. It's important to try these simple solutions before resorting to more extreme measures. If the problem still isn't fixed, you can try other troubleshooting techniques. When all else fails, restarting the computer is a good thing to try. This can solve a lot of basic issues you may experience with your computer. In the rest of this video, we'll show you about other common computer problems and some ways to solve them. Simple Solutions to Common Problems Common Problem 1, Power Button Will Not Start the Computer Solution 1, If your computer does not start, begin by checking the power cord to confirm that it is plugged securely into the back of the computer case and the power outlet. Solution 2, If it is plugged into an outlet, make sure it is a working outlet. To check your outlet, you can plug in another electrical device such as a lamp. Solution 3, if the computer is plugged into a surge protector, verify that it is turned on. You may have to reset the surge protector by turning it off and then back on. You can also plug a lamp or other device into the surge protector to verify that it's working correctly. Resetting a surge protector. Solution 4, if you are using a laptop, the battery may not be charged. Plug the AC adapter into the wall, then try to turn on the laptop. If it still doesn't start up, you may need to wait a few minutes and try again. Common Problem 2, an application is running slowly. Solution 1, close and reopen the application. Solution 2, update the application. To do this, click the help menu and look for an option to check for updates. If you don't find this option, Another idea is to run an online search for application updates. Common Problem 3, an application is frozen. Sometimes an application may become stuck, or frozen. When this happens, you won't be able to close the window, or click any buttons within the application. Solution 1, force quit the application. On a PC, you can press, and hold. Control plus Alter plus Delete, the Control, Alter, and Delete keys, on your keyboard to open. The Task Manager. On a Mac, press and hold Command plus Option plus Escape. You can. Then select the unresponsive application and click any task, or force quit on a Mac. To close it. Solution 2, Restart the Computer. If you are unable to force quit an application, restarting your computer will close all open apps. Common Problem 4, All programs on the computer run slowly. Solution 1, Run a virus scanner. You may have malware running in the background that is slowing things down. Solution 2, Your computer may be running out of hard drive space. Try deleting any files or programs you don't need. Solution 3, 
If you're using a PC, you can run Disk Defragmenter. Common Problem 5, the computer is frozen. Sometimes your computer may become completely unresponsive, or frozen. When this happens, you won't be able to click anywhere on the screen, open or close applications, or access shutdown options. Solution 1, Windows only, restart Windows Explorer. To do this, press and hold Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete on your keyboard to open the Task Manager. Next, locate and select Windows Explorer from the Processes tab and click Restart. You may need to click more details at the bottom of the window to see the Processes tab. Solution 2, Mac only, Restart Finder. To do this, press and hold Command plus Option plus Escape on your keyboard to open the Force Quit Applications dialog box. Next, locate and select Finder, then click Relaunch. Solution 3, press and hold the Power button. The Power button is usually located on the front or side of the computer, typically indicated by the power symbol. Press and hold the power button for 5 to 10 seconds to force the computer to shut down. Solution 4, if the computer still won't shut down, you can unplug the power cable from the electrical outlet. If you're using a laptop, you may be able to remove the battery to force the computer to turn off. Note, this solution should be your last resort after trying the other suggestions above. Common Problem 6. The mouse or keyboard has stopped working. Solution 1. If you're using a wired mouse or keyboard, make sure it's correctly plugged into the computer. Solution 2. If you're using a wireless mouse or keyboard, make sure it's turned on and that its batteries are charged. Common Problem 7. The sound isn't working. Solution 1. Check the volume level. Click the audio button in the top right or bottom right corner of the screen to make sure the sound is turned on and that the volume is up. Solution 2. Check the audio player controls. Many audio and video players will have their own separate audio controls. Make sure the sound is turned on and that the volume is turned up in the player. Solution 3. Check the cables. Make sure external speakers are plugged in, turned on, and connected to the correct audio port or a USB port. If the computer has color-coded ports, the audio output port will usually be green. Solution 4. Connect headphones to the computer to find out if you can hear sound through the headphones. Common Problem 8. The screen is blank. Solution 1. The computer may be in sleep mode. Click the mouse or press any key on the keyboard to wake it. Solution 2. Make sure the monitor is plugged in and turned on. Solution 3. Make sure the computer is plugged in and turned on. Solution 4. If you're using a desktop, make sure the monitor cable is properly connected to the computer tower and the monitor. Finally, solving more difficult problems. Keep in mind that most computer problems have simple solutions, although it may take some time to find them. For difficult problems, a more drastic solution may be required, like reformatting your hard drive or reinstalling your operating system. If you think you might need a solution like this, we recommend consulting a professional first. If you're not a computer expert, it's possible that attempting these solutions could make the situation worse. Also, if you have a friend or family member who knows a lot about computers, they may be able to help you.